Hey folks, Craig Danger, Vinyl Record Player, back here on a, for an early morning session. I uh, just wanted to do a quick update of the contest, of course. Uh, already got some bomb entries, things are looking good. Don't forget, this month is already flying by, so you maybe got like 20-ish days as of this, uh, maybe 25, uh, and then boom, contest closes, we draw, we give someone $100, oh my god. What I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to put uh, my wish list of genius VC people who I'd love it if they do my contest because uh, I probably watch them all the time because you know, this community is, we's on fire is, is what I'm going to go ahead and say. We's on fire. Uh, so anyway, uh, today I, I just wanted to do a, a little preamble on the contest again. Don't forget to enter uh, $100. Still got multiple entries and it's still early goings, but we're doesn't matter. Someone's getting that hundo. Uh, but let's let's get into what I'm calling eight from eight eight records with bangers that are over eight minutes. Uh, thought I comb the collection here and sort of sort of uh, instead of just always pumping out the new stuff, let's talk about uh, about some uh, great records with. Eight minute or more long songs. I gotta be honest. I was trying to do ten, but ten stuff. Eight, you can you can pull out some some real classics. So let's uh, just kick it right off. About uh, Grand Funk from I believe from seventy, closer to home. I think this is their best album. Uh, it's just personal. Uh, obviously, people all have opinions. Yes. Uh, but I will say that this this album is really cool. Uh, it's a great era for them. This is like early, uh, right when they were first starting to get. Uh, oh, this reminds me of uh, of Pete Pardo actually, who kind of turned me on to Grand Funk. Uh, Sin's a, a good man's brother. Oh, electric song, not the eight minute one. On this one, you'd be looking to uh, I'm Your Captain, which is uh, comes in a, a little bit, a little under. A little under nine. Anyway, uh, yeah, this is a great album. Um, like I say, I do think it's their best. Uh, that early Grand Funk stuff is all fantastic music, though. Uh, very kind of uh, soulful rock, I would call it. Uh, and, you know, power trio style. Uh, like I say, this one, this one I actually picked up for Three Bones. I don't think it's in the best condition, but this is one of those records that, uh, you know, if you like to rock, you should have it. Uh, so again, uh, Grand Funk, Closer to Home, 1970, featuring uh, I'm Your Captain. Longer than eight minutes. Uh, yeah, yeah. If I get the opportunity to show this record, I'm always going to do this. I've had this record for decades at this point. Um, really good record. Obviously, the banger, the super banger. This is kind of a little bit of a cheat, because the super banger on this is, of course, their cover of uh, You Keep Me Hanging On. But that's just under eight. It's like 7.30, but... If, if you get a chance to listen to Vanilla Fudge, uh, you keep me hanging on. Woo! That's going to rock you. It probably should. I remember the television show Mad Men, that they had a scene with that, uh, with that jam in it. And it oh, so good. But what's the, what's the long banger on this one? Turns out it's Eleanor Rigby. I don't know that version incredibly well, but I just wanted to show this record. And also, again, eight from eight. This is number two, Vanilla Fudge. This is our debut from 1967. Uh, I don't know a lot else about the band's uh, material, but this is a great, they basically do like really long psychedelic covers of kind of popular stuff and it's real heavy. Uh, great drummer who ended up in Cactus and other really wicked, uh, his name is escaping, he, he actually co-wrote the drummer, uh, co-wrote Do You Think I'm Sexy with Rod Stewart. Uh, that would be later. But, uh, anyway, great record. Uh, Vanilla Fudge from 67. Oh, of course. Of course. Curtis. This is from 70. The pants. Come on. The suit. It's a yellow suit. Not a lot of people can pull off a yellow suit. But Curtis, uh, Curtis can do whatever the hell Curtis wants. Uh, so, uh, of course, the, the, the big long jam, about 842, I think, on this one, is, of course, move on up. There's a, if you check the internet, there's a really good, or the YouTube, there's a really good uh, Curtis Mayfield documentary 
Uh, it's probably about a, a couple of hours. Uh, it might even be called Move On Up. I don't even know. But, uh, ooh, really good. I watched that and I was like, man, I need to get some of these. Uh, well, this I've had for decades, but I need to start getting some of that impression stuff, uh, which is not easy to do. It's not cheap. And also, those albums are like 27 minutes. Like, they put out two a year, snap, snap, but also 27 minutes of time. It's like, eh. So anyway, uh, so yeah, you end up spending like 30 bucks on a 27-minute record. It's not part of Craig Danger's manifesto, but still, this record is just giant. Uh, I have this. I've actually got roots on my soul wall. Uh, I mean, his first, geez, you know what? I think he's good up into the 80s from what I've heard. Even some of the 80s funk stuff I'm like, which I don't love. Uh, ooh, still Curtis. He's still great. Uh, but this record, you should seek out. This one's legendary. Uh, but Move On Up is so good. Uh, longer. Again, another eight minutes. Banger! From Curtis Mayfield. And, of course, yeah, had to include it. Zoom! 13 minutes and 45 seconds from uh, this 1973 album by The Temptations, produced by Norman Whitfield. One of the last ones he would produce for The Temptations. Oh, it's a great record. Uh, but also, Zoom! is 13 minutes and 45 seconds. Frankly, I, I, I gotta be honest, I don't know a lot about that tune, but I do know this album kicks ass and it's really good. I got this one for about three bucks because it was really dirty. Cleaned it up, mint, mint. Just had a ton of dust and some fingerprints and all this crap. But uh, woo, great record. Obviously, we're talking about the Witters. Whitfield, psh, anything that the Whitfield does turns into magic. And uh, of course, does this on uh, 1990, 1990, which of course, from 1973, The Temptations. One of my favorite jams uh, by the OJs of all time, the title track, Ship Ahoy. It's a dark, dark song. Uh, it's about slavery. You know, uh, nothing gets darker than that topic. It's, uh, it's, you know, it's a terrible topic. But, uh, wow, what a great song. What a long jam. And, like, you can just, ooh, you feel that song. You, you don't go away from that song the same. Uh, but also, banger album. This is, this is all good. This has got, of course, For the Love of Money is kind of, that was only about seven something. But Ship Ahoy comes in around 9.30. And ooh, really good song. But you know what? If you see this in the wild, or I've seen it in the wild lately for like four or five bucks, you got to buy this. This is really good. I think this is their best album. Uh, obviously, Backstabbers from the year before is uh, their second best album, I think. But uh, Ship Ahoy. The, the OJ's legendary stuff and, uh, ooh, that title track. Worth a listen. Banger. Uh, but also, ooh, heavy, heavy. Um, oh, the Isleys. This is also one of my favorite records. Uh, I think this is, I, I like this the best. I know it's not necessarily their best album, but it's my favorite. Uh, this is just before they went. Three plus three picked up uh, some more Isleys and became, you know, a six-man six jam uh, and then started putting out mega funk classics for the rest of the 70s. This, uh, this of course, has uh, like a 10 plus minute version of It's Too Late. Woo! It's heavy, it's dark, but it's great. Um, and this album is always worth a pickup if you see this one. I've seen a lot of, uh, of older copies, uh, like in Shrink, uh, around the scene for about 15 bucks, and I'm like, yeah, that's totally worth it. Because, uh, you know, I would pay 40 for this. It's a really good record. Uh, brother, my brother, the Isley Brothers. Uh, ooh, good one. This one's, I think, from about 71, 72. Anyway, good one. Coming in the last two over here. Woo! Of course, I'm going to show my man. Ah! Isaac Hayes, uh, Hot Buttered Soul. This one, I mean, that's the thing, is that there, Isaac Hayes, no shortage of eight-minute-plus songs in his career. But uh, you got to go with Walk On By, which remains legendary. 12 minutes of just absolute symphonic majesty. Uh, Isaac is just legendary. Um, this also has, I think, like a 19-minute version of By the Time I Get to Phoenix, which is, okay, which is a good jam. Uh, this album is super. You should buy this. Uh, wow. I think, I think if, if you can only have one album by Isaac Hayes, it's this one. Uh, Hop Out of Soul from 69. Uh, if you can avoid getting a sticker on the man's head, please. Why, why would you throw a sticker on the, on the brother's head? Why are you doing that? There. Uh, it's probably stacks. This is on the, I think this is on the Enterprise label. Not even. Enterprise. Anyway, whatever the case. It's a good one. Get it. 
walk on by, also listen to that, please. Woo, gonna blow your mind. And let's close out this Craig Danger eight records with eight minute jams, bangers. Let's close it out here. Let's close it out with a little bit of Blind Faith from 69. Um, oh, really good record, super group, legendary. This is the better cover. There's another cover that's a little, eh, not a fan, not a fan. It, it features a little girl topless. It's, eh, it's weird, very weird. But uh, <laughs> at any rate, this record is fantastic. Uh, no matter what cover you get, whatever. Uh, really good, super group. Uh, I would have thought uh, that, that Had to Cry Today, which is just amazing, uh, would have been over eight. It isn't. It's under, just under eight. Uh, but this one is uh, Do What You Want, right? Isn't it? Do, do What You Want is the, uh, or Do What You Like. Do What You Like, Ginger Baker Jam. Not the best on the album, but the whole album is so good. And the tra tracks are very lengthy and a lot, just riffing Eric Clapton, just murdering it all over this thing. It's a really great record. Uh, shame that this band didn't do a stick around for a second, but uh, they just didn't like each other. Not, not, you know, they, they try to get along, but uh, Ginger Baker, a little bit of a personality, and it just didn't work. But uh, yeah, Blind Faith, uh, 1969. If, if you do see this one, you should pick it up. It's, uh, whoa, if you like to rock. This one also is uh, kicking pretty hard. So yeah, that, uh, leave, leave any comments. Um, uh, what, what's your favorite over eight minute uh, song, perhaps? Uh, I'm just throwing it out there. But uh, otherwise, yeah, don't forget to enter the contest. And also, yeah, I am gonna wish list this jam. So all of you people, you legendary VC people, enter my contest. I'm, I'm gonna tag you below, cause hey, I wanna give you a hundred American dollars. So anyway, you know what? Uh, thanks for joining me and I will see you on the what? Next one.